winter does not arrive all at once. It begins with a shift in light, the sun slipping away a little earlier each evening, the air holding a sharper edge, the wind begins to speak in a different tone. Horses feel these changes long before humans notice. Their bodies listen to the world with a sensitivity that borders on magic. Where we see seasons as a calendar event, horses feel them as a biological conversation. As daylight shortens, the horse's pineal gland releases signals through the endocrine system, triggering a transformation beneath the skin. The winter coat begins to grow, but what emerges is not simply more hair. It is a masterpiece of biological engineering, an insulating system so advanced that human scientists have studied it for decades in hopes of imitating its design. The horse does not brace against winter, it prepares for it with elegance and precision. Each strand of winter hair is different from the sleek summer coat. Winter hairs are thicker, denser, and most importantly, hollow inside. This hollow core traps body-heated air the way a thermos traps warmth. Once warmed, the air sits still inside the hair shaft, forming a barrier between the skin and the cold world outside. The result is a layer of warm insulation wrapped across the entire body, from neck to flank, from chest to belly. It is not bulk that keeps a horse warm, it is stillness of air. Just like down feathers or high-grade arctic gear, the secret is not heaviness. It is stable, unmoving warmth trapped close to the skin, a perfect thermal shield. But insulation alone would fail without protection from moisture. Snow sits on the back, melts, freezes, clings, and water is the enemy of warmth. So winter coats arrive prepared. Sebaceous glands in the skin increase production of natural oils, coating every hair with a fine, invisible waterproofing. Snowflakes land and do not melt. They sit on top of the coat, unwelcome guests never allowed to reach the skin. Even rain beads and rolls off. Stand near a horse during snowfall and you'll see something astonishing, snow piling on the back like a blanket, yet no shivering, no tension, no discomfort. Inside that coat the body remains warm and dry, protected by nature's own rain-repellent film. If the temperature drops suddenly, horses don't brace themselves or hunch for warmth. They lift their hair, tiny muscles at the base of each follicle contract, raising the hairs upward and expanding the air-insulating space beneath them. This is the piloerection reflex, the same reaction that causes human skin to form goosebumps, but in horses, it is far more powerful and controlled. It is activated through the autonomic nervous system, responding within milliseconds to cold air. The body senses the temperature shift and the coat adjusts itself, instantly, elegantly, continuously. No thinking, no effort, no energy wasted. Engineering perfection. Every hair on a horse's body is connected to sensory receptors, creating a network far more intelligent than mere fur. At the base of each follicle are thermoreceptors, microscopic sensors that monitor subtle changes in temperature. These receptors communicate constantly with the spinal cord and brainstem, telling the body exactly when to raise hair, lower hair, increase circulation, or conserve heat. It is a closed-loop feedback system, refining climate control every second of every day. Humans adjust jackets manually. Horses adjust insulation biologically, with a speed and precision technology struggles to match. The coat is not clothing, it is intelligence. Between skin and coat lies a layer of completely still, warm air. Not moving, not leaking, not mixing with cold wind. This layer can keep a horse warm even in temperatures that would freeze unprotected animals. The trick is stillness, because the greatest source of heat loss is moving air. Wind steals warmth by replacing heated air with cold air. But the horse's coat stops motion at the surface, trapping warmth beneath. A horse could stand outside in a blizzard, snow piling up on its back, wind screaming across the field, and yet remain warm enough to slow its heart rate and breathe deeply instead of shivering. 
Inside that coat is a quiet world built for survival. Winter does not just change a single horse, it changes the herd. Standing close together, they share heat through proximity without touching skin to skin. Their breath mixes into the air around them, warming pockets of atmosphere that circulate slowly through the group. Resting horses angle their bodies to shield weaker members from wind, creating walls of warmth. The winter coat allows them to sleep standing without losing heat through frozen ground. And the herd becomes a shelter, a living architecture of connection. Horses survive winter not as individuals, but as a community. When humans see a horse outside in the cold, standing still, snow resting on its back, they feel a concern. Isn't it freezing? Shouldn't it be under a blanket? But winter coats are misunderstood. A blanket flattens the hair, removing the insulating layer of trapped air. It overrides the natural thermoregulation and disables the body's perfect system. A blanketed horse cannot control its coat. The air cannot be trapped. The heat exchange system shuts down. Blankets are useful in the right conditions, wet cold, no shelter, or clipped horses, but unnecessary for a healthy horse in a dry, cold climate. To watch a snow-covered horse asleep and peaceful is to witness trust in nature. The snow that settles on their back is not melting because the coat is working. It is proof that inside, they are warm. The winter coat is not just fur. It is architecture. It is engineering. It is a survival intelligence. It is the perfection of evolution, a system designed through time, experience, and instinct. And watching a horse in winter teaches us something about patience, about resilience, about quiet adaptability. Horses do not fight the cold. They collaborate with it. They listen. They respond. They trust their bodies and they trust the season. There is something profoundly human to learn in that. Perhaps we resist winter too much. Perhaps the cold is not a punishment, but an invitation to slow down, to breathe deeper, to stand still and feel the world. Like horses do. So the next time you see a horse in winter, mane dusted with white crystals, breath rising in slow clouds, coat puffed gently against the cold, remember what you're seeing. Not suffering, not endurance, but engineering perfection. A design so intelligent that it keeps life warm in the most silent months of the year. If this story deepened your respect for the quiet science within horses, their biology, their instincts, their wisdom, I invite you to stay connected. We are building a community for people who believe horses have more to teach us than we yet understand. Subscribe to Horse Sense and help us reach 10,000 subscribers. Together, we will keep exploring the beauty and science behind the horses we love. Thank you for listening. Thank you for caring. And until next time, stay warm, stay curious, and stay connected.